the uh, I think using a router was a little bit dodgy. <laughs> This is a Luthier's G-clamp. It very carefully goes in and it will reach the bridge. It is a bridge clamp. I only have one of them and I need three. The clamps I've got don't reach and particularly when they're back here um, at the side of the other proper bridge clamp they're just not long enough. So rather than go and spend more money on more clamps I'm going to create some clamp extensions. I have here the acrylic template, the Perspex template I'm going to use. I'm going to be using my router and practicing my router techniques. We're going to have four of these. I'm going to have top and the bottom. I'm going to have two pairs and these will enable me to reach the bridge. They'll be separated by bolts. The bolt will go in through here and we'll just keep the top part separated. There'll be a gap equivalent to the width of uh, calls and everything so that the two halves are always kept parallel. I'm aware the bolt isn't going to be long enough. I don't think it is. I could recess it. Um, it doesn't have to come all the way through the top piece, it um, just has to sit sit on it, but mm, might need to go out and buy along the bolt. But the idea then is that we end up with a clamp which is long enough to reach the bridge. Simple. Let's go do it. Nicely planed. This one's a bit thinner than I was hoping. There's a fault in it and I had to take it down to get it smooth but it sh should still be okay. Okay, 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 okay. I've tried taping my Dyson vacuum cleaner to the back here because I think the waste tends to come out this way. So we'll see whether it manages to sweep any of it up. I'm going to use rigger gloves because I don't think I'm going to be able to use a push stick or anything. I want to keep it safe. And of course I'm going to be using earplugs. <laughs> I think you saw there how this snatched. I'm going to have to be really careful about this. I think it's better to start in the middle. I'm getting quite a smooth cut. But I think trying to feed it in from the edge is, is a real no-no. I think we can see a problem. I noticed when I was planing the wood that there was a fault running through the wood and I'm wondering whether this is the piece that had the fault running through it. If you can see the two surfaces of the wood this is really smooth whereas this is all torn. It's as if there was something, some problem with the wood 
that maybe ended just here. I'm going to try gluing this back together and carrying on. Um, it's the strength isn't critical at this point. It's um, it's the strength is critical down here where the, where it's actually clamping. Um, we just need this bit to uh, to hold the whole thing together. Another problem I've spotted. Don't know whether you can see, but the template. I'm able to move the template on top of the work. The non-slip tape just isn't sticky enough. Um, I guess it's sticky. It's tacky, but it it's just allowing the the template to move. So I'm wondering whether I ought to screw to the top and put holes through the oak. Um, this isn't what I'd hoped. Well, on reflection, I think the uh, I think using a router was a little bit dodgy on such a small piece and using oak. That said, ah, hello, I'm upside down. That said, my router wasn't set fast enough. When I was mounting it in the table, I think I hit the speed switch and it had dropped from five to two. So that may explain why the router was grabbing all the time. Anyway, I value my fingers and I'm going to try using my belt sander. I have just fashioned this from the pallet that my pillar drill was delivered on and it just fits snugly under the the horn if you like the front the front grab of the belt sander so hopefully I can then mount it on my workmate unfortunately having the vacuum cleaner attached doesn't help but I can just nip that between the jaws of the workmate just to stop it moving laterally and then I'll just clamp that there I uh, need a bigger clamp well you get the idea so I'll just clamp that there and it should hopefully hold the hold the belt sander steady and um, we'll see whether we can take down the, the get the basic shape of the uh, the clamp arms using the belt sander. Never tried this before actually in a in a work made like this. So let's give it a go. but the shape of the of the clamp isn't really suitable for the curves that I've got available here. Here's a little cheat. This thing only operates if you've got your finger on the trigger so <laughs> tiny little plastic clamp keeps the whole thing running but that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Yay! <laughs> I'm just going to square off the hole to take the coach bolt so it won't rotate. Maybe a little more. Perfect. I've returned to the drill press because I want the jaws to open slightly backwards and forwards and I need this hole to be wider. I was going to ream it and taper it, the taper reamer, but that will mean it will wobble that way as well as that way. So what I'm going to try and do is to drill it with something underneath here just so that it drills through at an angle and then do it the other way so it goes through that way 
and just open up that hole very slightly just so it gives me a little bit of wobble either end um, in fact I guess the amount of wobble will be roughly how whatever thickness of shim I put in over here got this all clamped up now and I think it's all properly lined up and I've got the little ruler underneath and I've got about five millimeters of gap so when I do this the other way I should then have 10 millimeters <laughs> well this that's made no difference whatsoever the hole is still exactly where it was so and it doesn't appear to be any play there there is some play but not not enough I'm going to give that one more go with a more extreme angle and see if it makes any difference. That's better. Now we've got a little bit of wobble. Really speaking, we want the wobble mostly the other way, so now I've got to go like that, which could be a bit trickier. Uh, maybe not, actually. I can just angle it down naturally. Yep. Right, let's try that. Let's get it clamped up. I've got quite an extreme angle on this, but actually when you look at the geometry, I don't think it's going to go too far off target, so let's try this, this way round. a little crooked actually but let's see what that's like hmm I've got the wobble but with a bit of a click because it seems to have created two separate holes uh, mm. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna have to go halfway between the two or maybe a clicking clamp is the way to go Perhaps a little gentle reaming. Perhaps this is what I should have done to begin with. It still clicks, but it's tightened it up. There's less of a click there. So the idea of all of this is we have a long reach clamp, but it's not quite long enough because the work we want to reach is over here. So we set the spacing of the clamp roughly to the thing because of our well-engineered wobble, it's not too critical. Slide the clamps over. Tighten up. And there we go.